Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft and I am back with another DIY embellishment video. I think this is probably number four. Now, what I've came up with today is making our own ephemera and I've made a bit already and I'm going to show you. Now, this was just a little package and idea that I came up with. Um, really quickly, I just chucked this together. I put a bit of lace just a little peg and this is a piece of ephemera that I made and then what I did was inside I just put a little bag that I have little bags and I just filled it with my handmade ephemera so I'm going to show you the kind of stuff we've got now these here are just fussy cut from a paper pad all right so they're really simple I mean not so good if you don't like fussy cutting but I love it so that's what them are from just a paper pad this is just a die cut and I just cut it from craft card same as that that's a die paper pad that was a die and I just cut out scrap paper now I'm going to show you these here oh yeah that was a die I just cut it a couple of times laid it together um, I printed them off Pinterest and cut them out now these here you see these like little pieces here <clears throat> these were actually stickers um, someone sent me a little book of stickers last year I'm sure it was Gemma from the Crafty Little Gem and what I did was I just backed them onto some, I stuck them onto some white card and then I just cut them. Now these are really thick like cardboard and they're really tidy on the other side. You would never know that they were a sticker. You know that you really wouldn't be able to tell. So the same with that one, I think that was a sticker. I just backed it onto some card and then just cut round it. Same with that one. And they're so easy to do but they look really good so that's a few ideas there I'll just put these away and then I'm going to show you some other pieces that I made and I suppose the purpose of this is just use our stash use what you know rediscover maybe things that you've found you've had and you've never used Plus, I think not only that, but I find it really relaxing and therapeutic making stuff like this. And I think we all need, you know, things to take our mind off stuff. So it's basically just about having fun. And these would be brilliant if you're in swaps or you just want to build your own stash or maybe gift them to, you know, your crafty friends or whatever. So I'll just put my little peg on. Now these ones here again it's roughly the same thing so these were stickers most of them in here were now these are so cute because like i said these were stickers i got sent and they're like tiny little boarding cards and little luggage tickets and again i just stuck them on card and then when i cut them out you know they're like bored they are really really thick and um, that was a sticker of a butterfly and then these are actually puffy stickers which again I stuck them on a card and then I just fussy cut round them so you've got a nice you know thick embellishment there so I'm going to show you these stickers because you can pick up little cheap books of stickers from the pound shop and stuff so it was these here now i'm sure it was like i said Gemma. so we've got those there really cute just cute little sentiments and stuff and then the ones that i've been showing you there's hardly any any really left now but it was these and they're just a sticker and I just put them on the card and cut them out and they've turned out brilliant 
in fact I'm really loving this sticker uh, thing so those were the puffy stickers and then I also grabbed these pink paisley ones which I bought um, and that's what some of them are in there the butterfly and stuff and I've just done the same thing so read your stickers see what you have I'm sure you know you've got you've got stickers lying around you can cut up your paper pads if there's images in them that you think you know might look good as ephemera and we're going to do some other things as well and then I think we're going to make a little box to put them in this time so you can do something like that and we're also going to do a little box so what you're going to need is obviously some scraps of paper or paper pads um, any dies that you think you've got that can make tags and you know cute little things like that I've got them and this time I've just took a couple of stamp sets which have some really sweet little images on that we're going to make some little ephemeras out of them as well so let me see what I'm going to do now so I've got some craft card here and I'm going to cut out these little uh, dies from a lean here which kind of make like a little postage stamp so I want to cut the frames out from the craft card so I'm going to just trim this off and then I am just going to cut maybe three of these out and then I'll be okay, back. So I've cut them out and then what I've done is from the little inside piece I've just cut three of them out in white as well. Now if you don't have a die like this it's fine all you, you need to do is just cut some little rectangles with your trimmer or little squares whatever you want to do. And then I've took some of the stamps from those little sets I showed you and I've got my well, I should have my black ink, yep. Got my Versafine ink. And then I'm just going to ink these little stamps up. And I'm going to just stamp the image on here. Okay. And then we've got the little plant. They just make lovely little ephemera pieces. Now this one here we won't get it all on but that's fine. Just ink it up. And then I'm just going to stamp probably this part of it on. There we go. And then we're just going to build up our little die set here. So this will get stuck on there like that. Then we have this piece then our little image in the middle and I just thought they were cute for you know to be uh, make little ephemera pieces out of so I'm just going to put the little frame on and then what I might do as well is I might ink around the the outside I've got some <coughs> vintage photo and just one of those little blending brushes I love these and I'm just gonna go around the outside okay and then I'm gonna do the same 
on my little stamped picture here. And then that's going to get glued onto my little stamp. And I just think they're so sweet. Cute little ephemera pieces. So I'm going to build up the other two and then I'll be back. Alright, so that's those three made and I think they turned out really, really nice. So there is another idea. Now I'm going to show you the stickers. So let me just have a look. Which one? Yeah, so see, I've got some stickers here and I've just got some white cardstock. And then just put the sticker on. I just stick it to the end and then it's one less bit to cut I suppose um, this is brilliant all right so there's a couple on there you do need a good sharp pair of scissors all right and then it's basically you just follow around the line and it's easier because the sticker is the guide for you to follow around there you go you can't tell that that wasn't just you know a a little piece of ephemera, a little chipboard, a uh, cardboard sticker, um, cardboard die cut thing. Same with this, just follow around. There we go, there's another. So that's what I did with the stickers. Same with these packs of stickers here. So, you know, you get loads and I, I'm not really a, a lover of stickers, I have to say. Um, this is why I'm using them as little ephemera pieces. So say this bow here. Again, just stick them on your card. Okay, and then it's again just a case of just taking your time and just following around. But as you, as I say, you will probably find it easier because you've got the sticker as your little guide. There we go. There's another little piece of ephemera. Now, I'll tell you what else you can use as well. So, when I was with Stampin' Up, I acquired quite a lot of their like journaling cards, memories, and more cards. But then I also um, bought a few of my own and stuff. Um, all these kind here now you can definitely cut these up use these as your little ephemera and I mean some of them have like a lot of them are stickers so again you can do the same thing put them onto your little on your piece of card and just cut them out like, I think there's some here yeah these here these are sentiments so again if you just take your card and then stick them down you can then turn your turn these little word stickers 
just into chipboard pieces. Oops. And just cut them out. And then I also have a little, I just grabbed some of my punches as well. And you know, you can just, you can take your scraps or as I said, you could use these, these little um, cards and things here. I mean if you wanted to you could even you could fussy cut them out like that's a really pretty image but I don't want the whole card so I'm going to show you how I do it because I move the paper not the scissors if I can and you only need to leave just a little gap a little border see how I'm moving the card not the scissors So there we go, there's a lovely little piece of ephemera there, just by fussy cutting that little image out. So, you know, you can do that, you can also, as I said, get your cards. Mm, let's see what we've got. And then you might just want to just cut a bit of the image out. You've got to get your punches out and whatnot. I'm just seeing if there's anything that goes with this punch. I mean, if there's not, that's fine. You can. Oh, I mean, that's beautiful. I don't know if this would work. Yeah. There, you've got some just lovely little die cuts and things, well punch outs rather. But these were just from a paper pad. So there's another lovely one. I mean if you didn't want this to be as big you could just cut around there. You could get your dies on them. You can do so many things. So we're going to have a look and see what we've got put together now. we've got the little bits we've just cut we've got our little like little stamps which we used our actual stamps with these are the stickers that we just backed on a card puffy stickers just little die cuts there's so many things these are great though I love these the puffy stickers and see they're really simple because 
they're quite thick so when you cut them out again the sticker is the little guide to cut around so that's quite a good size little pack there now so I'm going to clear this away and we're going to make a nice little gift box this time to put them in because we've got our other ephemera in our little bag which again that's all handmade as well but this time we're going to make a lovely little box to put our ephemera in so I'll be back in a tick. Okay so I just cut up some scrapbook paper I thought we could just make it from that you can make it from card if you want to it needs to measure nine and a quarter by seven inches <clears throat> and this was just the prototype so it's basically just going to be a really simple little box okay so we need to score on the long side at three and a half four and a half eight and nine <clears throat> so three and a half four and a half I forgot already <laughs> eight and nine eight why does that seem smaller than that eight and nine and then turn it to the short side <clears throat> and we want to score at one inch five and a half and six and a half all right dead easy So the piece with the two score lines is the top. score line on the bottom you want to cut this little piece away and you want to cut up here and just mite it in there same with the middle one all right <coughs> And then the top, the box is going to go together like this. So we need to remove these pieces here. Away. Just leave a little bit of a square there. Same with this one, <clears throat> and then cut this little top piece off. So you should now have that okay and then this piece here you can just take a tiny little piece off the edges <clears throat> like that and 
we want glue down this side here or tape if you want to use tape hadn't scored right I mean folded right and we're just gonna fold these in and then they will just fold in like this there's our cute little box and then what you can do as well is if you take a little hole punch or something you can just punch a little finger hole in the front and that is basically our cute little box for our ephemera so you can, if you want you can put it in a little bag again I haven't gotten the one out so I'm just going to basically bung mine in here that's just a box full of ephemera now what I did was I kept a piece of the ephemera and then I just cut a couple of banners I use my little banner punch here and I'm just gonna glue this on here And there we go we've got a really easy sweet little box for our ephemera and um, this one here I have got I think a couple of videos on my channel how to make these little pouches the dead easy and um, so I'll have a look see if I can link it for you but yeah so we've got our ephemera in there uh, we've got all our ephemera in there and have a go just read what see what you've got get your stamps stickers scraps all sorts and just see what you can make but yeah i think that turned out really pretty so thanks for watching take care and bye for now